Bobby Kevin I'm standing with uh, DJ. How's it going? It's going good. Very excited to be here for uh, UFC 126. Uh, a lot of people asked you earlier today on the press conference, how does it feel to stand up uh, or sit right next to all the big fighters and having a shot at UFC? Uh, can you give us your thoughts? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited, you know, to be sitting next to, you know, Ryan Bader, uh, Anderson Silva, uh, Vitor Belfort. And uh, it's like a dream come true to be next to those guys. I mean, they're the best fighters in the world. And uh, I'm really happy to be part of this uh, event on Saturday. Can you tell us a little bit about the story you had about twitting to, to get into the UFC? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it all started out when uh, my fight was announced and everybody thought I was going to be on the main card the uh, pay-per-view, but you know, Dana White was like, no, it's going to be on the prelim, it's not even going to be shown. And everybody was like, what, are you crazy? So they started tweeting uh, to Dana White and, you know, saying rude comments, saying you're high, you're stupid, you're retarded. And, you know, I told this guy, you know, be very, you know. Your fans said that? Oh, everybody said that, you know, not, I mean, not my fans, probably kids' fans, probably fans are just UFC it's friends and family Fr uh, uh, what? no 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 not them they don't care they, they just like you come back in one piece we'll be happy about it so uh, and then they start you know tweeting him and then eventually Dan White says alright we're gonna do it and I just thought everybody just to act nicely and ask very uh, kind because you know it's grateful for him to even show you know 135ers and 145ers in uh, the UFC so he changed his mind after all the fans said yes he changed his mind after everybody you know kept on tweeting him and bothering him and he's gonna show it uh, live on Facebook on Saturday and how do you feel about Saturday? I feel real good, you know, my camera's real good. I had like a 13-week camp, uh, did a lot of CrossFit, training with Matt Hume and preparing, training with Sakurai, uh, Wiki, uh, Mizuno, a lot of uh, Japanese fighters out of South Pass. So on Saturday night, you know, I, when I step in the cage, it's going to be something I haven't seen before, so. Um. How do you want to end the fight? Um, I, uh, obviously, I want to end the fight, you know, without me getting hurt or breaking any bones or anything. But, you know, I take whatever, you know. If I have to grind him out to decision, that's fine. But, you know, the ultimate goal is always going out to finish him. And, like, that's one of my goals. He's never been finished before in his whole entire life. Besides in K1. If you guys watch K1, you see him get knocked out. But uh, in MMA, he hasn't been finished. So that's my goal on Saturday. I think we're probably in the same weight class, aren't we? Around 100 and... Who, you, me? Yeah. Uh, I'll probably say so. You know, I can fight at 125, but, um, you know, I, I fight at 135 right now because that's all they got, and I like to eat, so... so I think for the first time, I can actually challenge somebody. Yeah, yeah, you come on down to the gym. You know where I am. You know, you look me up on amcpancreation.com. Come on down, put your knee bar, or preview next time. You just let me know what you want. <laughs> Thanks. And what's, so, what's so funny? I'm not laughing. Why are you guys laughing? No, no, it was just, you know, I'm, oh, I'm no, comfortable I'm laughing. Laugh. Yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing. I was like, what would happen if I actually <laughs> come to the <laughs> gym? Uh, who do you think is going to win between uh, Vero Belfort and Anderson Silva? Um, you know, I, I don't like to give predictions, and if I was a gambling man, you know, obviously I'll put my money on uh, Anderson Silva because he's won a lot of fights, uh, very dominant, and when he fights, and um, you know, I'm a huge fan of Vitor Belfort. You know, I, I can fight Southpaw now, and uh, I watch a lot of his videos just to help me out my footwork and stuff. So you know, I'm gonna have to not answer on that. But like I said, if I was a gambling man, it'd be Anderson Silva. So you guys take that in context wherever you want to put it, I guess. So. Yeah, we're gonna put it on another website. It's usually naked people. Uh, well, no, I'm know. just kidding. There's my lawyer right there. He can answer any questions. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good luck on Saturday.